Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Nissan Micra and you're watching 5 minutes review. Let's go around. The fifth generation Nissan Micra is a car with a timeless look and style. Despite seven years on the market, it still looks like it was the latest generation from 2023. What we will find inside, how much space is waiting for the driver and passengers and how big the boot is. You will find out about all of this in my review. Let me start from the boot as usual. By the way, you don't have any camera with only sensor, but it's alright. The boot itself is quite big amount of liters you can see right now on the screen. I will show you what you can find inside the boot and I will show you all the dimensions. So, one light, no any hooks or I'm blind and I don't see them. Anyway, you got something like a double floor, which is mm, not very solid, I will say. And also, oh, I, I hate that. Trust me, I hate that. You don't have spare wheel, but you can just remove that piece of something and just fit your properly spare wheel. Anyway, the boot is high, up to 21 inches. It's long, up to 72 centimeters. That means almost 28 and a half inches. And the step is high, up to 8, 8 inches. And the boot is wide, up to 100 centimeters. That means a little bit over 39 inches. That's all what you can find inside the boot. Let's go under the bonnet. Under the bonnet, as you can see, you can find the engine, of course, and all details about the other engine you can see right now on the screen. So, okay, let's go inside the car. First, take a look at the handle. It's very narrow from this side, but it's quite wide on this side. And a space for my hand, but if someone will have the bigger hand, we'll be in trouble. Let's open it. So the upper part is made of hard plastic. Here goes something like a leather, which is nice and soft. If that is a real leather, that means the car is not for the vegan. You've got pocket on the door for some small items and also for the water. The seat itself are quite nice, nicely designed. The headrest is very comfortable. Also the seats. This part of the seat, of the backrest, is very, very wide. That's good. You've got something like side support, which is soft. The seat itself is very, very comfortable. Trust me, it is. Let me jump inside the car. Right, I'm inside the car. The driver's seat now is on the lower position. And this is my point of view, how I see everything. The camera is now on the level, on my eye level. And I'm just a little bit worried about that mirror, but this is something that I always complain. The A pillars on the standard size, I will say, they are not too narrow, a little bit wide on the lower part, but when you close the door, you will find another window which will give you better visibility. The mirrors are in good size and everything you can see without any problem. Right, when you look on the, on the back, there is a little bit quite difficult because you don't see much and especially that the C pillars are very, very wide, but of course we got reverse camera. Look at that. This is the standard resolution, but it's always better to get something like that than nothing. That's your steering wheel, which is nice and pleasant in touch. A little bit hard, but it's all right. Especially that Sphinx. I'll never know how to call it. If you know how to call it properly, that part of the steering wheel, let me know in the comment below. Of course, it's multifunctional, so everything what you need to adjust, you can just do it from the uh, steering wheel. Anyway, uh, you got two clocks, manual clocks and some onboard computer between. The whole dash is made of hard plastic. Here you got the Alcantara. Uh, that's very nice. I like it. Touch your screen. That's your air conditioned panel. Here another shelf, 12 volt socket, USB start stop button, which is here, like in the sport car. Uh, your gear stick, and joystick, however you want to call it, hand brake, something like a shelf. Two cup holders, which actually, hmm, look at that, cannot fit a small bottle of water, so it's actually just for me and the passenger can use a place in the pocket on the door. Uh, armrest, which is very, very soft, I will say, but in small size, you can open it and you will find another very, very small storage. And yeah, so, uh, oh, about the space, look at that, I've got plenty of space for my leg from both sides above my head 
there is exactly five fingers five fingers is all right especially that my driver's seat is on the lower position okay let's take a look in the compartment on the front of the passenger which is quite deep i will say it's all right and if you are interested to buy the car you can buy the car for with the price of almost 13 and a half thousand pounds like that okay uh, what else like i said before the front seats are very very comfortable i really like it take a look on the top you've got sun visor with the mirror without any extra lights right, you've got here only the light okay standard light and that's that's all about the front and let's go to the back Okay guys, I'm inside the car on the back and uh, let me start from the door. The upper part is made of hard plastic. Here you've got nice soft armrest, which is very small, I would say. Pocket in the door, which is quite, quite okay for that side. But unfortunately, I don't have many space for my leg. Actually, I don't have any space for my leg. Look at that. Uh, the back side of the front seat are made of very nice and soft material. That's good. I've got plenty of space for my feet. Look at that. And the driver seat now is in the lower position and I'm sitting behind myself. Over my head, if I will say proper position, my head touching that roof. So, roof, ceiling or whatever. So anyway, I don't have any room for my head. Um, apart of that, the back seat is very, very comfortable, but it's definitely for two adults and maximum to 180 centimeters or 175 and especially when the driver and the front passenger will be on the same 180 max 100 or 175 centimeter tall that will be great because the people will have lots of space if not so you will be in the trouble like me so there is no an armrest here no cup holders and no extra extra light no extra usb no extra air vents but to sum up the car is quite nice i will say right guys and that's all for today please let me know in the comment below what you think about the car what you think about my review please subscribe to my channel take care of yourself and your followers and see you next time